In this lab, you'll express measurements in SI units, read a thermometer, and measure liquid volume by using a graduated cylinder. You'll also measure mass by using a balance and determine the density of two liquids. This lab will require about 30 minutes to complete. Here's a list of everything you'll need to perform this experiment. You'll need a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, 75 milliliters of light colored sand, 75 milliliters of dark colored sand, four five ounce plastic cups, two alcohol filled Celsius thermometers, a pair of heat resistant gloves, a ring stand or lamp support, a light source, a stopwatch or clock, a balance, 25 milliliters of corn oil, 25 milliliters of water, a clear plastic cup, and some graph paper. Before beginning any lab, always review the safety symbols that are shown in your textbook. Wear an apron to prevent chemicals or chemical solutions from contacting your skin or clothes. Protective gloves are required for performing this lab. Use extreme caution with electric hot plates or other sources of heat. Wear heat resistant gloves for protection. Most scientists use SI units for all of the measurements they take. Today, you'll practice making measurements in SI units. Begin your first measuring exercise by preparing a data table like this one on a sheet of paper. On the lab table is a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, some light colored sand, and some dark colored sand. Use the graduated cylinder to measure exactly 75 milliliters of the light colored sand. When you have the required amount of sand measured in the graduated cylinder, pour it into one of the plastic cups. Great! Now repeat the same procedure for measuring 75 milliliters of the dark colored sand 